Hello, my friends in YouTube. I'm Gene Delasala, president of Audioholics. And I'm Hugo Rivera, vice president of marketing. Gene, we have a Yamaha monster over here, man. What is this? You know, Hugo, I'm really proud that Yamaha is getting back into their roots. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They've, they've just unleashed a whole slew of new integrated amplifiers, and we've got the flagship in the series over here. It's called the AS801. You know, Gene, I think it's important to start by describing what do we mean by integrated. Yeah, basically an integrated amp is, you could consider it like an AV or an audio receiver, a two-channel receiver, but without the tuner section. Right. Right. It's like being a man of the cloth without the cloth. <laughs> I love your analogies. <laughs> I try to keep it real, guys. <laughs> this, this is pretty jacked up, though. I mean, let, let's start talking about it. I'm super excited about it. This is like a blast from the past, but going into the future. It you is. Know? You know, it, the reason why I said they get back to their roots is they've done, they've done some stuff in here that they used to do back in the 80s. When I first got introduced to Yamaha and I heard the Yamaha sound and I was just blown away. Yeah. Not only by the sound quality, but the build quality. Mm -hmm. This puppy weighs, you know, like almost 30 pounds, like 27 pounds. You know what's funny about that, Gene? This stuff is actually heavier than a nine channel Atmos receiver. Yeah. Not only that, <laughs> it's rated at less power. So what does that tell you about how these AV receivers lately have been rated? No comment. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. <laughs> but what I love about this and where, where they go back to their heritage is, you know, is the cosmetics of it. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the kind of skinny uh, knobs on it. I love mm -hmm. that. They have the variable loudness control yeah. on the front, mm -hmm. which gives you a bass boost and a treble boost, but you could tailor it. It's not just a push button. Right. It actually gives you more fine tuned adjustments. Mm -hmm. That's what we're used to. Yeah, that's, that's a great feature. There's nothing wrong with using tone controls when you need them, because you know, depending on the source material, you might need it or you might not. Right. But um, also the bass and treble controls, the shelver frequencies on those are at 20 hertz and 20K. Mm -hmm. That's unusual. Usually you see those at like centered at 100 hertz and 10 kilohertz. Mm -hmm. So it just gives you a little bit more contouring of sound. Mm -hmm. And for those that are purists like us, mm -hmm. there's a pure direct that bypasses all the tone controls and, and the balance controls and everything else and just gives you a direct path to the amplifier. It's incredible. In fact, you can actually hook up your computer to this and bypass a crappy sound card. That's really the amazing thing about this is they didn't just put a simple USB DAC in here and call it a day. They actually used one of the top of the line USS ESS Sabre DACs. It's mm -hmm. like the 9016, I believe. Yamaha went one step further and they put their own clock in there to, to eliminate jitter. It's incredible. I mean, this is the same kind of construction you get out of their brand new CX5100 uh, AV Pre Pro. Mm -hmm. So it's their digital front end is top notch, man. This is a super high end DAC. It does. Um, SACD in its native format, the DSD, all the way up to the 5 megahertz range. It does uh, 384 kilohertz sampling rate of PCM. Not that you're ever going to get anything be above 192, but the point is it supports every high res format in its native form. Doesn't downsample, doesn't uh, truncate or anything like that. This is a high end DAC, folks. So, like you said, you plug it right in to your computer and you're in heaven. Absolutely. Holy cow, this is amazing. It's really powerful. What else can you tell us about the hardware of this stuff? Because it's really exciting. Well, it's not just about the features that we were talking about. This thing has some meat and potatoes in it. And when you pull the top cover off, you notice it's got dual heat sinks. Mm -hmm. Okay, most AV receivers, you get one little heat sink for seven amplifiers. Right. They mm -hmm. actually split it kind of like a mono construction, four output devices per channel. So that explains why it's meaty and it could drive four ohm loads. Mm -hmm. And it's got like a, a capacitor bank of 12,000 microfarads times two. So it controls the ripple really well. It doesn't fluctuate when you're driving it really hard. And you know, if you look at the power spec on this, um, it's rated at a very low distortion, like 0 0.019 or something like that, at full bandwidth, not this one kilohertz. Not the one kilohertz. One percent, ten percent crap, PMPO, whatever you want to do to inflate. <laughs> These guys are not trading amplifier quality for features. Yeah, exactly. They're they're for real. You know, they don't need any kind of enhancers. No, I mean it's when you get good meat and potatoes in there, it's going to sound great on a good speaker system. And we drove this with our $50,000 reference speakers all the way down to a pair of $400 bookshelves and it just sounded very effortless. Mm -hmm. It sounded much meatier than its 100 watt rating and Hugo put our bench test results up 
Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see for yourself that this thing is very conservatively rated. Mm -hmm. The only caution we have is it's got that dreaded impedance switch on the back for UL. Oh boy, don't touch the stuff. Don't touch it. Don't look at it. Get it out of your system. Yep. Put a piece of tape on it when you take it out of the box. <laughs> Make it black too, you know? If you put the black tape on it, Yeah, you, you won't even know it's there. Exactly. Basically, if you suck, if you, just for those that are uninitiated, if you put it on the low setting, the forum setting, you're defeating the purpose of why you bought this amp to begin with. You're crippling the amp. That's it. Bottom line, you're crippling the amp. It's like having your, it's like having your most powerful horse at the Kentucky Derby, and you just put him away. Or taking a sports car and leaving it in eco mode, <laughs> so you can save one mile per gallon. That's even better. Because <laughs> that's really what you're saving. <laughs> that's even better. Basically, suffice it to say, don't touch that stuff. I, I love the tape idea. Make it black so that way, you know what? Camouflaged. Yeah. It's gone forever. Yeah. Uh, you know, I can't say enough good things about this. The build quality is great. It's got all gold plated uh, mm -hmm. terminals on the back, very high construction on the speaker terminals. You could plug two sets of speakers into it. it they run in parallel. So you can, you know, it'll, it'll basically drop the impedance in half. But you know, this amp can handle it. It's got a big transformer in it. It's got all the stuff we like to see. It's why we exist as audio hall. Yes, absolutely. And I think we need to mention, Gene, that it has a Bluetooth option to it too. Yeah, it has an accessory you can buy for that. The only thing, it doesn't have the music cast capability that some of the newer products are doing, but I don't know if they're gonna release an accessory product for music cast to make it uh, interface with this. This is something that's new for Yamaha. Right. And I guess we'll find out in the coming months. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you could stream from your computer. You could plug in your, your standard coax or, or toss link from your CD player or mm -hmm. your, your DVD player, whatever. And guys, if you're into two channel, man, this is the real deal for under a thousand bucks. You're getting the latest DAC technology. You're getting respectably good amplifier technology. You're getting the ability to customize your sound with real quality tone controls here, not this crappy stuff that you see on most of the AV receivers. And um, that's it, man. I, it's a detachable power cord. So if you guys get esoteric and you pray to your cables, <laughs> you could plug in a fancy power cord that costs more than the unit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we don't recommend it, but you could do it. If you want done. to slap a battery on your power cord because you think it, it aligns electrons better, go for it. Go for it, you know. It, it, this is great. <laughs> Honest to God, Gene, when I look at this product, I say to myself, Yamaha basically gave like a free reign to the engineers. You yeah, know? that's a great, that's a great, uh, great analogy. The last feature we forgot to say it has, it does have a sub out. Okay. Um, it, 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 it does have a 100, 100 hertz uh, low pass filter on it. I kind of wish they would have left that off completely. It's not that big of a deal because most people, when they use bass management, especially if it's a two-channel rig, they're going to do it at 60 or 80 hertz. Mm -hmm. As long as you keep that crossover frequency of your sub away from that 100 hertz area, you won't have that problem of cascading filters and getting a bad ripple right at the at the crossover point. Okay, okay? excellent. So it, you know it's it's well thought out. Let's put it that way. Um, I'm really happy about this product. Yeah, huge congratulations to the Yamaha team. They really killed it when it comes to this. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, this is the kind of products we like to see here, Gene. With this product, you can have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> For real. <laughs> awesome stuff, man. Well, with that said, Gene, I think I want to invite our uh, viewers to just comment below. Let us know what uh, they think. How many of you guys are doing two-channel? Yeah, you know, not only are you doing two-channel, what are you connecting? Because this thing has a great um, uh, phono preamp, too. Mm -hmm. you, can play, you can spin vinyl on it. I really believe, and I feel it on our YouTube channel, our Facebook channel, people are really resurging into the two-channel market, and that's why Yamaha is making these products. So let us know, are you doing more two-channel these days? Are you doing more home theater? Are you doing more streaming? I want to know. Yeah, comment below. Let us know, you know, and uh, we'll definitely, we should start taking these comments and featuring them on our Facebook page, too. We will. Good you idea. Know. Good that's, idea. That's why you're the marketing guy. That's why I'm the marketing guy. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, with that said, guys, you know, uh, click like if you like this video, share it with your friends, and until next time, keep, keep listening. listening.